So I'm hearing that you can create a whole podcast with AI now? Supposedly from the year 2078, all about an AI-powered future. Yeah, it's a bit like reading a sci-fi novel, right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miss Technical, and if you're new to watching my channel, welcome. So I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw an ad, or was it an ad? I don't know if it was an ad or if it was um, someone who posted something about being able to create a podcast with AI. I'm pretty interested in this, so let's both tap into this and let me show you how you personally can use this as well. So this is Notebook LM, and for clarification, it says right here, Notebook LM is your personalized AI research assistant powered by Google. And that is something that I figured out that you're going to see while making this video is it does sound like a podcast, which is amazing, but it's more so creating a podcast based off an article, based off a blog, a link, certain research or text that you gave it. So I'm going to show you that in this example here. So Notebook LM is by Google. You can go to notebooklm.google to visit the website. And once you are here, you're going to see on the top right hand side, try Notebook LM. Once you click on that, it's going to use your Google account that you're already signed into to create an account with Notebook LM. All right, so once you logged in, you're going to see a screen like this here. And as you can see on the right hand side, it is logged in into your Google account. So let's start on a new notebook. So once you click on new notebook, you're going to see a screen that looks like this here. And so basically what Notebook LM is doing, it is collecting a resource either from your Google Drive, Google Slide, a link like an article. You can paste the link from an article. Um, you can also upload a PDF, text, markdown, or you can paste the text. So it's basically collecting that information, collecting the information that you're providing it and summarizing everything that is collected. What we're going to be doing is pasting a text here for copy text. And we're going to have Notebook LM not only summarize it, but also create like a podcast type vocal around it to summarize the article as well that we're going to paste. So what I'm going to do is go to ChatGPT and I am going to have ChatGPT create an article for me that's juicy and really interesting. So I put the year is 2078. Write an article about how AI has changed the world. Write the article as if you are speaking to people in the past who are living in 2024. Oop, sounds interesting. So let's push enter. Okay, so AI has created the article for me. So what I'm going to do is just copy all this here. Copy it and I'm going to paste it right here and click insert. All right. So it came up with a summary where that was fast. The source text is a letter written from the year 2078 to people living in 2024. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what we're going to do to create that audio is click on generate right where it says audio overview. And let's see what it comes up with. It took a couple minutes for it to generate the audio. The audio is now generated. So we are both going to listen to this together for the first time. So let's, let's do it. Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today we're diving into a really interesting piece you sent us. It's this letter, supposedly from the year 2078, all about an AI-powered future. Yeah, it's a bit like reading a sci-fi novel, right? But it's also grounded in how AI could actually change things, like even basic stuff like work or society as a whole. Totally. Pause. Do you guys hear this? This is crazy. This is mind-blowing. Oh, this sounds so real. It's not just, like flying cars, although I will say those do pop up. But this letter really gets into how AI might change daily life. So got to ask you, ready to unpack how the 2078 folks make a living? Absolutely. This letter dives right into something they call the creative economy. Basically, AI takes over all the repetitive tasks and humans get to, well, be creative. Okay, see, now that part sounds pretty good to me. Letting a bot handle my inbox and spreadsheets. Sign me up. But seriously, what happens to all the jobs that AI takes over? Does everyone just become a poet or an artist? And that's where it gets interesting. I'm really shocked, but I'm also excited. Really excited. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Are you for this? Are you not for this? Have you tried it? Are you going to try it? Let me know.
All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please leave me a residue of your energy by liking this video if you enjoyed the video, commenting below what you think about this, and subscribing to my channel as it helps my channel grow. Thank you guys so much. 